Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Now there have been so many lipstick launches lately guys, but this is the one I've been most excited about. This is by Bite Beauty and they have entered the liquid lipstick uh, arena. This is called the Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip with Reservatrol. So basically this is the liquefied version of the Amuse Bouche liquid, uh, lipsticks that they al already have. And this retails for $24. Uh, the Amuse Bouche lipsticks in the traditional twist up tube, the cream form, they retail for $26 and this is $24. And the amount of product you get is 0.25 ounce, that's 7.15 grams. And at the back of the box it says this is also infused with 5 mg Reservatrol. I think the Bite Beauty's uh, main selling point is that uh, it has Reservatrol. It, the, I think the Luminous Creme also had Reservatrol. The, Amuse Bouche lipsticks also have and so do these and also the fact that all of the ingredients are very natural very organic and um, well I'm not like someone who's really really in search of organic ingredients or something like that but having organics all the more better so they say that the made in natural food grade and organic ingredients and this is made in Canada and um, this Bite Beauty is a Sephora exclusive brand as such so you will find these only at Sephora and this is not limited edition this is just exclusive and new and I don't think this is online only no uh, I think you would be f uh, f seeing these in stores very soon as well uh, or probably it's already out I'm not sure but I bought these online as most products uh, so yeah I think that's it let's talk about the packaging um, this is that usual packaging that uh, Bite usually releases their lipsticks in, that rubberized black, grey kind of packaging, very like matte and then it says Bite here in kind of a font and then at the bottom of the packaging you have this transparent area where this is not like a sticker or like a, you know, like a plastic kind of a thing which depicts the shade, this is the actual shade, this what you see is like uh, since this is a transparent part of the packaging you see the actual product through here so this is pretty accurate what you see which is really nice in order to pick out shades if you have a wide uh, you know range of shades in your collection now there are 13 shades in total and i bought eight of them i went a little overboard but i was very enthusiastic about this uh, collection it was like brand new lip product from bite so i was too too excited so i picked up eight of them um so yeah let's see the applicator this is like it has like slight slant to it but this is like a like just a doe foot applicator it's like an absorbent applicator and so yeah uh, let's get on with the swatches this shade is flambe which is a reddish orange shade <clears throat> let's do lip swatches and then I want to talk about the you know the formulation and everything That is flambe as you can see not sure if you can notice this is not like 100% opaque there's a slight translucency to it I'm I wouldn't say that the actual um, applicator does not carry enough product I, I wouldn't say that because I was sufficiently able to spread the product evenly on my lips so but I just there was barely any product left by the time I finished but there is a slight translucency to this formula it's not like 100% opaque that's something I noticed right off the bat um, so that is flambe which I think makes vibrant colors very wearable on all skin tones I feel but just an observation this is not like I don't think that this is 100% translucent tra I mean 100% opaque um, I can see my kind of pig my the pigmentation on my lips here and here so that's just my opinion um then this is puree this is like a, like a burnt brown orange shade which is very pretty and i think on uh on my dark skin tone i would consider this a nude to be honest because i don't go for very true nude shades like foundation concealer kind of nudes this is probably kind of a nude that i would go for and if you have darker skin than mine I think uh, 
this probably will be like real nude on you. So that's puree. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's again, even in every shade, I, I found this like a cons as a consistent thing. The, the, it's not like 100% opaque, like it, there's a slight um, translucency to this formulation. So this is puree, which as you can see, it's like a nude on my skin tone, although it's like it's concentrated and saturated in this small area. That's why it looks very, I mean, the actual shade is like kind of a burnt orange, but it has a brown in it. So it's more, it's pretty nude on me. So yeah, it's puree. And then you have infuse which is like it has like a mauve berry shade again i would consider this a nude on my skin tone this is the kind of shades i think are nude on me it's like muted but at the same time very wearable for every occasion so that's what i consider as nude not very loud colors this is infuse that is infused and again this is a, a mauvey berry shade let's move on to the next shade which is a very very beautiful shade this is marsala marsala is quite similar to infused but it's like darker and has a, quite a bit of purple in it hope you can see this is more kind of reddish, but this is more has has more purple in it. Maybe I can should do it like this, or maybe you know what? Let me swatch Marsala here. That's Marsala. Let's swatch Marsala. Take this off. I know the swatches look like as if the lipstick looks feathered and it's like moving out of my lip line but these lipsticks i didn't expect uh, experience any kind of feathering when i actually applied it properly i'm just doing it in a very hurried way right now so this is just like to give you an idea how it looks on my skin tone that's it but this lipstick it did not feather or bleed on me I'm just doing it in a very hurried way so that's why it looks like it's well it is actually kind of out outside of my lip line but yeah so this is Marsala which is which has very similar to infuse I would say I've swatched it beside but this has more red and this is more purple the Marsala has more purple let's close that up and next is one of my very favorite shade this is candied which is like a when I, I saw the swatches, I thought this was more of a uh, like pinky red, but it's more of a coral red. Very, very pretty. There you go. Do you see how coral it is, but it's red, so it's so wearable and so beautiful on dark skin. I honestly, when I swatched it, I thought that I would need a lip liner for this candied shade and flambe as well, this orangish red. But since, I, as I said, the, these shades have a translucency to it, so... You do not need a liner. That's why I think it slightly toned down. Although in the swatch, in a concentrated area, it looks saturated and a neon. Uh, on the lips, when you actually spread it out, it kind of tones down. So you do not need a lip liner with any of these shades, even the uh, vibrant ones. So let's do Candied. Wait, is it Candied? So much product out of my lip line so that's candy it's a beautiful red coral color red corals are not very common if you ask me it's more pinky corals that's mostly available in the market but this is a, such a beautiful reddish coral shade guys and Mac also has a lot of red corals but um, 
from white beauty this is stunning this is such a beautiful shade and this is candied and this is supreme supreme is um like a magenta berry magenta shade i'm happy that from uh what i picked all of these shades are so distinctly different they're not like very similar they are so different so let's do supreme That's supreme. The swatches are so bad, but you know, it's just to give you, give you guys an idea. Supreme, so this is like, as you can see, a fuchsia berry shade, which is not very vibrant, not like too bright, but it's, it's bright enough and it's a solid color. So yeah, that's supreme. And then this is chutney. That is like the usual, you know, very popular pinky brown shades, which usually I do not like them on my skin tone. They look so unnatural. They don't look like, you know, the, the one with peach tones or cinnamon tones, they look more natural on me. Sorry, I'm humming. this is chutney so yeah this is a very light shade on my skin tone uh, but I think I can definitely make it work with a lip liner I would definitely need to wear a lip liner with this but so yeah that is chutney on the lighter I think this is the lighter shade that I picked up and this is one of my favorite shades demi glaze such a beautiful cool town brown guys so so pretty I know it's kind of blending in with my skin tone but it also has purple in it once I swatch I think um, you guys would be able to see the color more properly Let's do demi glaze. So, do you see how stunning beautiful that is? I think this is a very unique shade. Shade in demi glaze. Let's close this up very unique uh, cool tone cool toned brown with also a hint of purple I feel so I really like it I'm usually not someone who really sides with neutral nude shades but this is quite unique so yeah those are the swatches so those are the eight shades now I've, sh I've, I've uh, swatched two shades uh, I mean a uh, one shade twice so ignore that but the rest are these shades that I think I've swatched everything yes so yeah now let's talk formulation guys formulation i feel i now i've used both the luminous creme by amuse i'm sorry by beauty which have been discontinued and i also own a lot of the amuse boo shades the, the the cream form the twist up variety so now after using uh, after trying these out and playing with these i feel these uh, more closer in formulation with the luminous creme <laughs> more than the actual amuse bouche lipsticks just because these kind of feel like a very pigmented lip balm more than you know the, the I feel uh, this has more slip to the formulation whereas the amuse bouche in the uh, cream one in the twist up uh, lipstick form has a little bit of drag to it when I'm applying it and and I feel that has more lasting power than this. This, I feel this has good lasting power as well, but it's not as good as the original Amuse Bouche ones, you know, in the traditional form, the cream lipstick form. These, I would say, 
um, if I would give the amuse bush uh, lipsticks, you know, the, the, the cream lipsticks, if, if I give the lasting power a 10 out of 10, I would give these uh, a 7 or 8, somewhere between 7 and 8 out of 10. So it's not like as good as amuse bouche twist up lipstick uh, when it comes to lasting power. Now, when it comes to opacity, the Amuse Bouche lipsticks are 100% opaque. They just give you a complete new layer on top of your lipstick. On, I'm sorry, on top of your lips. It's like completely opaque, no question about it. There's no need for any doubts, may may not know. Um, it's completely opaque, but these have a slight translucency, translucency to, to these. Uh, meaning, uh, it's not 100% opaque, but it's not like... I don't know, it's not like 80% opaque or anything. I would say the opacity on these are on a relative basis. I would say these are 95% opaque. That's how there's, there's a slight difference, but the difference is really small. So, but still I can actually see that these are not 100% trans, I mean, they're not 100% opaque. I can definitely see my lips, uh, the color of my actual natural lips peeking through. Even with the dark shades, I'm talking about even with the flambe shade, which is like the vibrant orange red, and then this candied shade, which is like this pink coral red. Even with these shades, I can actually see a very tiny amount of my lips actually peeking through the color of my lips. I can see it. So uh, these are not 100% opaque. I would say 95% opaque. So there's again a slight translucency to it, which the Amuse Bush in the traditional form, the, the cream lipsticks are 100% opaque, all the shades across the board. They are very consistent. Now, lasting power, they are good. I'm not saying they're bad at all, but not as good as the Amuse Bush. The Amuse Bush lipstick, if I say it's 10 out of 10 with respect to uh, lasting power, these I would give it like somewhere between eight and uh, seven and eight definitely not more than eight so it's good but it's not the best it's not as good as your muse bush in the, in the cream lipstick form now i do have a one downside to these lipsticks guys so which i i think it's a big downside at least for me now the thing is once you wear these lipsticks um the thing is what happens is it's not streaky it goes on very evenly it's, it stays put, definitely very good lasting power and everything. But the thing is, for, for after a period of time, say, after a short period of time, I'm, I'm going to correct myself, after a short period of time, I'm not talking about hours together. I'm talking about, say, an hour in, after, after first up, up applying these lipsticks, what happens is, I get like a ring inside my lips. It's not that gross inner like white ring that you get here inside in the upper lip lower like it's not that i know that uh, that bad uh, unpleasant looking ring it's not that this lining is exactly the color of my lipstick what happens is i don't know if it's a pigment or if it's this base or these oils i'm not i'm not sure what i can see like a distinct line in the exact color of my lipstick in the forming here and that moves i think it that's the reason this this product gets in my teeth now i have to disclaim i'm not trying to boast or anything i never get lipstick on my teeth guys probably i don't know why probably the way my teeth is arranged i don't know i never get it on my lips it has never happened but this product no matter which shade i use always invariably i always get lipstick on my teeth so that's why i'm suspecting I, I feel the pigment or oil or the base or whatever that is in, in this product this kind of migrates it but at the same time I'm not saying when it's migrating it migrating towards the inner part of my lips it doesn't displace here the lipstick still remains even and it applies well it's still present it doesn't look faded or anything the lipstick that I apply here is still present but for some reason I think the pigment kind of move pigment or oil I'm not sure <clears throat> excuse me not sure what it is but it kind of moves to the inner inside of my lip and then in turn gets on my teeth which is something i totally hate about this lipstick which i'm like why 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 <laughs> these are so good but uh, i don't know um that's a big downside to these that's why i'm not wholeheartedly recommending these for you guys uh because 
uh, honestly, if you really think about it, there are so many lipsticks out in the market which are these non-transferable. Oh, I, in case I haven't mentioned, <laughs> these don't dry down. This is like the liquid, literally liquefied version of a lipstick. So it's just just normal lipstick, but in a tube and with a doe foot applicator. So it's just that. And so these are just uh, non-transferable li uh, lipstick. I'm not sure. St I still don't understand why they just transferred this again into a you know liquefied version because i slightly feel that it's redundant but of course these are new shades so it's not but then still again oh of course the, the in a liquefied way you definitely have way more advantages than the traditional cream lipsticks because there's no way these are going to break you know because no matter how expensive a cream lipstick is if it breaks it's done right even if you transfer it to a pot the frequency of you using it also decreases like at least for me uh, so this definitely has a lot more advantages over a traditional cream lipstick but anyways i'm digressing but the thing is again in conclusion i feel these are more of a pigmented lip uh, balm whereas the which is very similar to the uh, luminous creme lipsticks and but where, whereas the um, amuse bouche traditional lipsticks are more very pigmented and they are more heavier on the lips and they are very opaque and they have a slight little bit drag to it when you apply it you can definitely you can see the lips moving as you are you know applying it so it doesn't like glide in one swipe whereas the luminous creme is like literally like a lip balm it melts into your lip when you're applying your lips and it's just like butter it's just like pigmented butter so yeah pigment opaque butter the luminous creams are also very opaque to be honest so i feel the the formulation is kind of uh, leaning towards the luminous cream than the traditional amuse bouche cream lipsticks and these i've observed it so many times so close in the mirror there is a slight translucency translucency to these lipsticks these are not 100 100 opaque now this look seems 100 opaque because there is so much brown to it and my lips also is in the uh, same color of this lipstick so that's why you you can't tell the difference but on a vibrant shade as the this shade and the candied red especially with these two shades you can definitely tell that uh, there are certain areas in my lips which are pigmented and that pigmented area definitely peeks through so it's not 100% but as I told earlier if I say that amuse bouche lipsticks are 100% pigmented opaque these are like 95% opaque so I it's not a big difference but there is a difference and I notice it actually and then what else and as I said the biggest downside to these are kind of the I don't know why it I, I, I'm not saying it moves because the, the the lipstick that you apply on your lips stays put. It's even, it, it looks exactly like the way you applied it the first time. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the oil move in or some kind of a base or the actual pigments move in. It kind of, I can see that with every single shade I swatched and I used where, you know, I, and I played with. There is a line that forms, which is not that, um, you know, the, that unpleasant looking white ring. This is not a white ring at all. This is the exact, like it has like a demarcation, line of demarcation. My lips, which is very pigmented, exact same color of the lipstick. And it gets on my teeth every single time I use these. All of the shades and every single time I use this, there's always product on, on, my, uh, on my teeth. And even if I remove this, when I do this and just... And I, I always do this when I use do a lipstick to remove this extra excess product here. But still, it it forms that inner lay, uh, ring, and then so again the product gets on my teeth. So that's a big downside. What else? <clears throat> on the positive side, although these are like so creamy and so pigmented and so emollient, uh, these do not feather. They do not bleed. They stay put in my wherever i apply it so and lasting power is pretty good but not as good as the amuse bouche in the traditional lipstick uh those are fantastic the, these those are unbeatable to be honest as good as the nas audacious ones uh but um they but these are good like i said if i give the um amuse bouche lasting power a 10 out of 10 i would give these somewhere between 7 and 8 so yeah they're good, but they're not the best and excellent. So yeah, 
that's my conclusion on using these products and that's my thoughts on these products hope you guys found this video useful these are my swatches and you heard my thoughts and review on this product so hope you hope i'm able to help you guys make a good decision about purchasing these uh definitely it's I would say give it a try if you're really interested in this and 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 this falls into your price range and, and if you have the funds at your disposal i would say definitely give these a try because the formulation and the ingredients are so so good and um, i i feel the color selection is also really good the flambe and if you are someone who loves orangish red it's a, and if you have dark deeper skin it's a little bit hard to find orangish reds with which are like vibrant but you know not a neon but the this shade i do not you do not need you need to use a uh, lip liner it's just beautiful and so is this reddish coral shades are also already or also difficult hard to come by so they they these two i feel although you have so many orangish red sh reddish orange shades in the market they are usually they are like neon and not very wearable but this is very very wearable on deep skin tone and so is this so this reddish coral also is a like unique shade so i would say if you're really interested in a color just try it out and see if you like it maybe uh, this ring of pigment not i'm not talking i'm, I'm I, I don't want to say that you know white ring this this line of pigment that 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 i encounter you probably may not encounter it so yeah just give it a try and see how you like it if you think that the price range is good for you otherwise hopefully they also come out with uh you know like um lipstick set even though i don't like it a lot of people might like this formula well i'm not saying i don't like it i'm not like over the moon like i am about the amuse bouche lipsticks they are like phenomenal they are just the best but these i don't think these are best these are good but not the best so yeah hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye